there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel. In today's video, we are going to be getting it all done. I have some cleaning to do. We're gonna be taking care of two yummy recipes. So let's get into this. So we are starting off by tackling Aubrey's morning bedhead. It she came in and she was like totally looking like a lion as she walked down the hallway. It was the cutest thing. I love her to death. She's adorable. I was actually afraid this was going to take me a lot longer than it did. So I'm happy that you know, she was able to focus on the show that I let her watch as I focused on her hair because it was a mess. So let's go ahead and get this all brushed before we move on. So now that her hair is done, we are going to move on and make some Belgian waffles. I have shared that I had this pearl sugar in the past. I got it off of Amazon and I'm just using the little recipe here on the back of the bag. So if you want, you could screenshot it. Whenever I make something that involves yeast, I do like to use my bread machine since I have it, but obviously you are able to make this without a bread machine. I just find that it makes my life a lot easier since it gives me more time to like tend to the kids. I can just dump all the ingredients in and let the bread machine do its thing. I'm also using some of our homegrown chicken laid eggs. <laughs> and that was just something that I thought was exciting because I'm finally getting to like bake with them and it's a new exciting time in our life. But anyways, this recipe uses a lot of butter as you guys can see and uh, I really like using the bread machine, like I said, because also it's kind of more temperature controlled with the rising. When If I were to just let the dough like rise on my counter, it probably would take a lot longer because it was a really cold at our house because it's been rainy and snowy and whatever. So I just really love using the bread machine for that reason as well. So essentially we're going to let the bread machine just kind of mix these ingredients together and knead the ingredients into a little dough ball before we add our chunks of pearl sugar. And then we'll add this in and let the dough mix and incorporate the chunks of sugar so that when we make the waffles, you'll get little bites of like sugar bursts and they are just delicious. So while that dough is, you know, getting made and rising, I decided to move on and clean our kitchen. You can see the complete mess that is on the floor. So it was in well need of a sweep and a mop. <laughs>
After kind of just sweeping the kitchen area, I decided to clean up like our table and just all of the random odds and ends that were around our kitchen. And I wish there was a more aesthetically pleasing way of filming this, but I'm sure as moms you guys can relate, like you start one task, you see something else that needs to go somewhere, you go do that, and you get back to the task that you started. And so I am just always like all over the kitchen trying to get everything in its place and there's just no easy way to film each kind of section that I'm focusing on. But anyways, once that was like more tidied up, the dough had finished rising. So what I'm just doing is I'm cutting it up into equal sized chunks and I will be using my little Belgian waffle maker that you could use like a more liquidy mixture to make waffles, but this is just, I don't know, I, I tried a waffle like this from I think La Madeleine's in Texas when we were there and they were just delicious. So I was really excited to make something similar for ourselves. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I want to burn all the So if I wanted to, I could probably make a few less waffles in order to, you know, maximize the size of the waffle. Obviously, these are coming out and they're much smaller than the waffle machine itself, but it really didn't matter because I was planning on cutting these up uh, afterwards so that we could just snack on like a quarter of a waffle at a time. But anyways, like I said, it was hailing here, so it was nice to kind of be in the kitchen and bake and enjoy this fun weather and being able to see it from the comforts of our own home. So here you can kind of see like the inside of the waffle and I just got back to finishing up the rest of them. So like I mentioned before, I wasn't planning on just like serving these waffles as full waffles. I'm either cutting them up in half in this case, and I've made them sense and just kind of cut them up in quarters so that people can take as many quarters as they wish. Juan did say that these are like super delicious. He loves them and he actually prefers them over the chocolate chip cookies that I make. So he was just kind of eating them as if they were, you know, little cookies in our fridge. So now that those waffles are done, we're gonna move on. We're gonna load this dishwasher and get it running. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to go outside and check for any eggs. Don't 
So bringing this basket to our little chicken coop is a little unnecessary. You guys can see we have some fake eggs in our little nesting boxes, but we got a real egg and it is as beautiful as the first one that we got. I really hope that one day we have like all four chickens laying every day so that I can actually, you know, make use of this basket and carry four eggs back into our kitchen at once. So it is later in the evening and I'm unloading the dishwasher that we started earlier and then we are going to move on to doing some laundry. So this is one way that I just, I've never looked back. I always fold my sheets like this now, and I think it creates a lot more space in our little closet where we store our sheets. So I definitely recommend, you know, folding any sheets this way. Flannel sheets are a little bit more difficult, but it is still possible. But again, you know, I'm, I'm never going back to any other way of folding sheets. So now that the laundry is done, we are going to wrap up this evening by making a fun little microwaved treat. So I wanted to make like a homemade personalized Rice Krispie treat. So I'm using some of these little Fruity Pebble type cereal bits, a cup of marshmallows, a tablespoon of butter, and we're going to microwave this for 30 seconds just on high. I didn't adjust any like settings or whatever, just 30 seconds. It's going to expand and we're gonna mix it all up, add in one cup of the cereal and form our personalized Rice Krispie treat. This was a really good sized treat, so I did share some with Juan and with Aubrey, so maybe you could half this if you really want just like a one serving for you. But anyways, I enjoyed this and called it a night. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little get it all done video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. And if you are new here, I'd love to invite you to check out all of my motherhood content and see everything that I have to offer. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.